Imagine you've just invested in a shiny new UMA phone system, hoping for crystal clear calls and a bundle of features. But what if it's not living up to the hype? You've tried troubleshooting, you've called customer support, and nothing seems to work. Now, you're asking yourself, how do I get rid of UMA? You're not alone in this struggle. Many people have found themselves in the same boat, frustrated with UMA's performance or limitations. In this video, we'll break down the steps to cancel your UMA service. Whether you're dealing with a faulty device, poor customer service, or simply looking for a better option. Understanding your UMA plan. Before diving into the cancellation process, it's essential to understand your UMA plan. Different plans may have varying cancellation policies, so review your contract or account details to determine if there are any early termination fees or specific requirements. Step-by-step -step cancellation guide. Gather your information. Have your UMA account number, billing address, and any other relevant details ready. This will expedite the cancellation process. Contact UMA customer support. The most straightforward way to cancel your service is to contact UMA's customer support team. You can usually find their contact information on their website. Be prepared to provide your account details and reason for cancellation. Request a cancellation. Clearly state your intention to cancel your UMA service. Ask about any early termination fees or remaining balance that you may be responsible for. Confirm cancellation. Once you've requested cancellation, obtain a confirmation number or email to document the process. This will serve as proof that you initiated the cancellation. Troubleshooting before cancellation. While it's frustrating when things don't work as expected, it's worth considering troubleshooting options before canceling. Sometimes, a simple reset or software update can resolve the issues you're facing. Here are a few common troubleshooting tips. Check for firmware updates. Ensure your UMA device has the latest firmware installed. Outdated software can sometimes lead to performance problems. Restart your router and modem. A simple restart can often resolve network connectivity issues. Verify wiring and connections. Make sure all cables are securely connected and that there are no physical damages. Alternatives to UMA. If you've decided that UMA isn't the right fit for you, there are plenty of other VoIP voice over IP providers to choose from. Here are a few popular alternatives. Google Voice, a free option that offers basic calling features and integration with Google services. Vonage, a well-established VoIP provider with a range of plans and features. Ring Central, a cloud-based communication platform that offers both residential and business solutions. Common cancellation questions. Here are some frequently asked questions about canceling UMA service. Can I cancel my UMA service online? While some providers offer online cancellation options, UMA may require you to contact customer support directly. Are there any early termination fees? If you cancel your UMA service before the end of your contract, you may be subject to early termination fees. What happens to my phone number? You may have the option to port your phone number to a new provider. However, there may be fees associated with porting. Additional tips. Document the cancellation process. Keep a record of your conversation with UMA customer support, including the date, time, and the representative's name. This can be helpful if you need to dispute any charges or issues that arise later. Review your billing statement. Carefully review your final UMA bill to ensure that you're not being charged for services you didn't use. Consider a refund. If you're not satisfied with UMA's cancellation process or have encountered issues, you may be eligible for a refund. Research UMA's refund policy and contact customer support to inquire about your options. Canceling UMA service can be a straightforward process, but it's essential to understand your plan and follow the correct steps. By gathering your information, contacting customer support, and troubleshooting before cancellation, you can make the transition to a new VoIP provider as smooth as possible. Have you had a positive or negative experience with UMA cancellation? Share your story in the comments below. And if you're still unsure about which VoIP provider is right for you, check out our other videos for more recommendations. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.